In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to all of you as we uh, prepare for our Mass this morning. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Augustine, bishop and doctor in the church. Yesterday was for St. Monica, his mother, who prayed for him. So we, uh, we take a moment to ask for Augustine's intercession for our church, for our lives, as we uh, ask forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your Bishop St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the Christ, the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in wisdom of God, the world did not come to know God through wisdom. It was the will of God through foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs and Greeks demand look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. <clears throat> For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord, praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of the nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. I just heard a quote um, on TV and someone said the distinction between a cult and our, especially our Christian faith, is in a cult the people are expected to die for the Savior. In Christianity the Savior died for the people. And there's an important distinction there which represents the wisdom of God different than the wisdom of people. Because in people, whether a cult or some other power grab in in our dynamics of life, people are expected to work for power and prestige, to be honored and to be reverenced, to be respected, to be given privileges. And this is what so many of us work for so hard in our lives. And so we enter into turf wars, whether in traffic, in work, in our family, any perceived slight act of disrespect must be met with overwhelming force to prove how valuable and how important we are. And this is our human dynamic and human wisdom that is overturned in the event of our salvation. In God becoming human, simply humbly being a itinerant preacher without role or money or status and then dying for our sins dying for us instead of overwhelming the world with celestial armies this is foolishness to people with blind eyes and deaf ears as paul says this is this is foolishness to those who think it's all about honor and power and respect. Jesus has shown us a different way. Our salvation is found in one who dies for us, not expecting us to die for him, although martyrdom has happened. But this is not the primary call. This is witnessing and staying faithful to something. We don't sacrifice our lives for God. God has sacrificed the life of his son Jesus for us. When we look at St. Augustine coming in, then it seems strange Paul is talking about, well, human wisdom, this is this, our faith is foolishness. And then having Augustine, a doctor, a teacher in the church, one of the earliest, most profound teachers who reflected on with an incredible intellect and in our Catholic tradition of our deep 
history of philosophy and theology that intellectually takes second place to no tradition, in my opinion. It's so profound, and at its core is still this foolishness for those who seek power. We pray for Augustine's intercession that that not be what we seek, but instead we seek the way of the cross and following Christ. With our eyes and hearts fixed on the coming of the Lord in glory, let us bring our prayers and needs before him. For the church, may she grow and prosper in the Lord's saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work in the legal and judicial systems, may God grant them wisdom in acting with justice and fairness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with sickness in all its many forms, may Christ's healing be theirs this day and always. For those who care for the sick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence. Especially we pray for Pat Kayasa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take a moment to offer our own prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, as we await the return of your Son in glory, we ask you to hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We make our prayer through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good and all for the church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, <clears throat> we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, the Lord, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, <clears throat> but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder to please continue to consult the parish website about masses and any announcements for masses, confessions, Saturday rosary, and other things that will be uh, begin being programmed as the fall gets underway. Also, Father Byron Macias should be arriving today, this evening. He's a new Claritian missionary priest. He's currently been in Chicago. He's only been ordained just a few years, about three years, and he will be here uh, full-time working with us at the St. Paul Catholic Newman Center. So daily Masses online, you're going to start seeing a new face working into the routine and on the Sunday Masses as well. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.